So here we are, we're in Adobe InDesign and we're gonna create our layout or our plan for our portfolio. So you can see I've already kind of started sketching this out a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to have to figure out how many total projects you wanna have in your portfolio. I've decided to have three that uh, Lillian Hernandez is going to feature and we're gonna do a little bit more of a detailed overview of each project. So that's why I'm only sticking to three. I'm thinking overall I might commit three total pages to each project, although not every project is gonna need all three and some may need four. So as long as I keep it within 10 pages or less, I'm gonna feel pretty happy if I go over 12 pages. I just need to make sure those two extra pages I added are worth it. Is it really needed to have those two pages? If so, you can go beyond 10, but only if you feel like it really, really adds to the descriptions and, um, and extra images you're able to have for your projects. So first things first, uh, we can lay out all these different things once we get an idea and we gather all of our project images together. I went ahead and did this. I have all of our projects. I have the three projects and different folders for each one. And I need to figure out, I have way more photos than I need to present. And if I presented all of these photos, I think it would overwhelm the client. So a lot of times you need to write your project descriptions um, to know what photos you need to incorporate and how many you need to incorporate. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to write our project descriptions. And once we have our project descriptions, we can do our basic layout and then start popping in those photos and really figuring out the design and layout side of things. So we're going to switch gears a little bit uh, away from InDesign. I'm just going to go to Word. And I'm creating a little bit of a plan and you can download this as a downloadable resource so you can be able to read these bios and read the um, the project description so you can get an idea of how I've written mine for Lillian but it can be very different depending on what kind of work you do if you're an illustrator your descriptions might be a lot shorter if you're a UX UI designer you might have very very long descriptions um, so for Lillian she's a graphic designer so that's kind of the example I'm using so this is project one uh, we have, uh, of course, you need a title and you want to go ahead and just instead of saying what the, the project name is, go ahead and be a little more descriptive. So for this, it's a branding project. So for this case, it's Elemental, Logo Development, Brand Creation, and Extension. So I'm pretty much saying what the company name is and all the major things that I did for them. And so the headline, so the headline can be anything um, you feel like can further describe the project. In this case, I'm using a client test demo testimonial because I feel like that's going to have a little bit of a higher impact when viewed on that first page that we're going to develop. Um, so in this case, it's uh, working with Lillian. Lillian has been a pure joy. I thought that was a really great testimonial to use. So you can see this is the total description. It's not super long. It's not super short either. And so instead of putting the description all on the front page, we are going to uh, dull this out in little small uh, snippets throughout the three pages I'm dedicating to this project. So I'm going to put uh, the first couple of lines on maybe the first page as an introduction. And then as I describe the project, I have different project images. I'll go to another page and put a little bit of a explanation for each photo. So you don't have one big block of text. You're kind of slowly letting them read the description as they move through your project. So after you spent some time writing your descriptions for each project, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first project first so we can see what that looks like so we can start to work on the other projects. So this is kind of the first page is obviously gonna be your front cover. It's gonna be your splash page. It's gonna be your hero image. It may be one image that is your favorite that you feel like really captures your skill set. Have it on the front to sell or it could be a collage of just maybe a couple of hand selected images. We're gonna do that after we do the first project. Uh, we're just going to kind of put some placeholders. We're going to put that there. We're also going to put a logo. As we start to develop our other project layouts, we're going to be thinking of what that hero image is going to be for the front. What is going to be that big image that I feel like is going to capture the client's attention to move on? And so after we do a couple of uh, pages, I think we might start to get ideas for that. So we're going to come and visit that front page, but I have it already planned out. I already have the first page dedicated to that. I already have the next three pages dedicated to our uh, client project. So right now um, I'm going to continually take a look at some of these layout ideas. This is a downloadable resource from the last lesson. Uh, there's lots of different ideas here uh, for different ways you can present images. And so I'm going to take a look at this and see if there's any I feel like would be really good for this particular project. I'm also going to take a look at my images to see uh, kind of where I can get a little bit of inspiration. Um, so what I'm thinking for at first, I don't, I'm not going to put a huge long description in the front, so I don't need a lot of text. 
Um, but I do think kind of having one big hero image to kick off the project might be good for this particular project because I have a lot of great images. So perhaps this magazine feature layout might be really good. Or if I wanted to feature two, I can do this headline feature split where I can have, you know, a headline and, a, and I put our testimonial there, but I can also have two images um, so I can be able to have more control over cropping those images because they're not taking up the whole page. So let's take a look at that layout and see if it's going to work. Let's go to our first one. And I already have this layout right here. I'm just going to switch these pages right in InDesign. You could use whatever software you're using, but I'm just switching those pages out. I feel like this might be a really good headline. So just going into Word and just copying and pasting my title and headline, and I'll be right back. So here's our first page of our first project. I decided to feature the logo of the company or the project instead of just having it in a regular type, just to kind of add a little bit to the project presentation. We're going to fine tune graphics and everything later. We're just figuring out the basic layout. Um, so we have the ability to do different, uh, two different photos or one big photo. It just depends on which photo we choose for this particular header cover. So for project beginning pages, I like to have this wow photos that really capture the project in its entirety. You can have multiple photos if you feel like it works, just try not to use too many. We also have this quotation for a client testimonial that we'll want to also incorporate in there as well. So we need to figure out a place for that. Uh, we can also start to work in some of our project description, maybe the first couple of lines. But let's see how the front uh, page looks as we start to put it together. We still have two other pages or even a fourth one if we wanted to de dedicate four pages to this project. Project. So we need to create it the best way possible. Um, so we just need to be flexible with different layout options and ideas as we start to put this together. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my project. We have several different project images we can use kind of as our wow first page image. And I already have a few in my mind that I want to kind of pick out. Um, this is kind of a branding project where the whole idea was to create a package design and a logo design. So what best to feature an image that has both of those on here? So that would be this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in here. Of course, you're going to have a lot of different projects that you're going to want to feature. Uh, you may be a photographer, web designer. You're going to be presenting these a little bit differently. But the overall idea of creating a layout plan is, is the same no matter what type of work you do. So this is when layouts need to be flexible. Not all the layouts I have in the downloadable resource are the ones you come up with at first are going to work perfectly. So feel free to manipulate and change everything as needed. So throughout this portfolio building process, I'm looking at her branding standards and the brand that she developed for her personal business or her personal freelance business, trying to find ways to incorporate the color palette, the iconography, the background, the colors, all this can somehow be incorporated into the look of her portfolio. So you can see I've adapted some of that, that blue, light blue, greenish color to the portfolio as well. So I'm just thinking about that as I develop these pages. So continuing to figure out what looks best for this first page in terms of our layout plan. And I'm also realizing that I, if I want to have a description and a title and the name of the project, it's starting to get pretty heavy. And, and, and there's a lot of things going on. So there's some things we can do to improve that. Um, I can shift this away and kind of start off with the logo design and kind of have that be a little bit better of a complement. We don't need the divider bar anymore. Um, I can also do the quote. So right now I'm starting with a description. And so maybe since there's a lot already going on, I may decide to not do the description and wait till the second page. So we can move that off to the side. I also have a, a, work, a working quote. If this is a real project, you could do quotes. Obviously, if it's a personal project, you want to start off with a description or maybe a title and make sure you have personal work somewhere on that first page so clients are not misled and thinking it was a real client project. You need to be upfront about that. It doesn't have to be really big. It can be a little small uh, text below the first image that just lets them know it's a personal project. Um, but for this case, we're going to make it a real project just to kind of show you that example. So we have the quote and we'll just start our description on the next page. You got three or four pages to do this. Lots of room to slowly tell your story. So don't feel you have to, like you have to cram everything on the front page. You're really just trying to grab their attention with the product project and then you're ready for that second page. So now we're on to the second page already and we need to figure out a layout plan for this one as well. 
Uh, so we have a couple more pages left. And since we've already written our description, we know exactly what images we're going to want to show uh, and with the description as well. So the first thing I talk about is kind of how I sit down and plan with them. So if I have a great brainstorming, sitting down at a meeting, uh, kind of images, kind of like the examples I'm showing where you're kind of showing that process, thinking, preparing, meeting, discussing. If you can kind of have an image that really goes well with that description, then great. Let's go ahead and find that.